This podcast is brought to you by the School of Advanced Study, University of London. Extra housekeeping, unfortunately, um, we, we heard this morning from uh, that Renny Masai, who was meant to present in the first um, panel, um, is, uh, was, is, is unwell today, so she was not able to join us, but she has sent us a slideshow, which is about to appear. So I just wanted to, I don't know how many of you have managed to get over to um, Old Street and see this exhibition, uh, but can you, can you see that? Um, I, I, she, this exhibition is, is on at um, Autograph ABP in Rivington Place at the moment. Um, and it, the, you'll see some of the images that are on display there coming over in this, in this story now. But I'm just going to read her, uh, her paper um, her, her, her paper abstract to you just so you can kind of get a feel for it and I would, I, I've, I've been over to see it um, and it is amazing and I, I would recommend going to have a look at it as I said it's one of those exhibitions that's on right now which is showing a whole different story that we don't know that isn't part of the kind of the national British story but anyway so she, she wrote um, for her paper archival lacunae black chronicles to the missing chapter um, established in 1988 with the mission of advocating the inclusion of historically marginalised photographic practices, Autograph ABP is a charity that works internationally in photo photography, cultural identity, race, representation and human rights. Um, the the centre was originally developed to address a series of gaps in the visual representation of Britain's cultural history and its different communities, with the continuing mission to foster progressive photographic research in relation to global, politi global politics of migration, diaspora and difference, and to preserve the legacy of significant bodies of work by a constituency of artists and collections traditionally overlooked. So our current archival project, uh, that's this one, entitled the, Mi the Missing Chapter, expands our existing archive and explores early fa photographic narratives of migration and cultural diversity in relation to Britain's colonial history disseminating a visual heritage that is fragmented and often dislocated. The missing chapter builds on the concept of animating the past to imagine the future, bringing the photographic archive out of the gallery and museum context and into direct engagement with communities. In fact, I think this particular slideshow is actually designed to be projected on the south bank on one of the walls there earlier this summer. And so what you're seeing now was, as, as, as she says, taken out of the gallery and injected into the public space in, in London, which is, you know, great. Um, and uh, so she says, um, the missing chapter builds on the concept of animating the past bit in the future, I've just said that. It will offer a range of participatory activities and innovative public displays, like I say, uh, actually, yeah, they, I mean, they've done, continue, they've done some uh, workshops for teachers at the gallery as well. My, my, my sister's a primary school teacher, she went to one of their teaching uh, courses recently. Um, and it says, uh, this is all aimed at overcoming recognised social barriers of access and offering new kinds of opportunities for diverse audiences to experience the content of Autograph ABP's own and other associated collections. So this exhibition has been on at Rivington Place in Shoreditch from the 12th of September till the 29th of November this year. And it's an in-depth inquiry into the archive and ongoing research. The exhibition presents new knowledge regarding black presences in the UK, augmenting Ford photographic history in relation to cream wind windrush representational politics in Britain. So like with the, I mean, these, these images, you know, you say a picture tells a thousand words, the images completely dispel the windrush and they all by themselves. You know, they're, they're, um, uh, they're all taken in, in, in London photographic I think before, before, before 19, not just London, in Britain, before 1938. So you can see some of them are part of that wider trend for carte de visite of the sort of trend of having these photographs of people of note or interest. And um, yeah, so I think they're a really powerful collection um, that I would urge uh, to, to go and see. But, um, she says many of the photographs on display have never been exhibited before, including over 150 carte de visite. I'm getting ahead of myself of black Britons with different, from different private collections and an extraordinary body of portraits from the Halton archive, believed to be the most comprehensive body of work on the black subject produced in Victorian Britain. So, I you know, obviously can't do it just the justice that Renee would do if she were here, but uh, she sends her deepest apologies and she was really looking forward to being here today. 